Hi, I'm Temba Nilo, a teacher educator, and I will be leading you through this video. Temba Nilo has been a teacher, school principal, and teacher trainer. He currently lectures in school change at the University of Natal. Let's follow him as he visits schools starting to rebuild their structures and cultures. He will be accompanied on this visit to schools by Tandi Lenjoati, a junior lecturer at JCE in change management. Temba and Tandile's research will be observed by Mfana Bonella, a teacher interested in change. All schools are thinking about ways to improve themselves. It's easy to come up with a list of what an effective school should be. The real question is how you become more effective. This video will look at two different approaches on how to improve your school. Firstly, the school as organization approach, which Mark Porterton of the Catholic Institute for Education supports. Well, how do we go about working in a school? Um, and we'd start with a very simple reflection action model, where teachers would reflect on their experience, review the situation of the school, where is the school at, how, how, what are the problems, then begin to reflect and develop a plan. How can we address those problems? Then say, well, how do we begin acting on those problems? And then coming back and saying, well, how have we, how have we actually grappled with those problems and in, in, in evaluating? So that's the reflection action model that, that's very prominent in our schools. And the school as community approach is the other approach in which Andrew Schofield of the Department of Education is directly involved. The school as community approach locates the school within the community. It would use organization development theory as a small component. The school community approach really consists of two things. First, an approach to dealing with people as human beings. That, that has to be the constant understanding that we are working with human beings. We are not working with cogs in an organization. Also, the school community approach tries to move towards community development. So Andrew believes that you can't see schools as being isolated. They are part of the community. Schools must deal with the problems of the community, not as a gesture of charity, but because it is essential to address community problems for the school to function effectively.